For this problem, we have to determine which of the following choices is equivalent to 4 times n plus 6. Whenever you see a number written on the outside of parentheses with no sign directly after that number, that indicates multiplication. It's kind of like saying we have 4 groups of n plus 6. So we could write n plus 6 a total of 4 times to figure out what that's equal to. Now if you notice, we have four n's here, so if we add all of these n's together, that would be four n, and if we add all of these sixes together, that would give us a total of 24. And as you can see, choice C says four n plus 24, so that is the correct answer. Now another way that we could have solved this without writing n plus six a total of four times is to use the distributive property, which says, that we can take the factor located on the outside of parentheses and multiply that factor by each term located inside the parentheses. So four times n is four n and four times six is 24. And just to make sure that we have selected the correct answer, we can take choice C and substitute in for n any value that we want to and substitute that same value in for n for the original expression. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to substitute the number one for the variable n. So if we do that, we would now have four times one plus 24. Four times one is four, and four plus 24 is 28. Now we have to substitute the same value in for n for the original expression. So we have one plus six, which gives us a total of seven, and seven times four has a product of 28. So you can see that when we plug one in for the original expression and the answer we selected, we came up with the same solution, which is 28. And you could really have substituted any value that you wanted for n, but you have to use the same value for the original expression as well as the answer that you selected.